Hi everyone, Jody here. Okay, so uh, today's video, I wanted to uh, demonstrate um, eyeliner for the older woman. Um, there's a few variations of um, eyeliners to use. And because when you get older, I don't know if you can see, but our eyes get, um, the skin around it gets a little more wrinkly and uh, soft, so it's not as taunt as the younger girls. And so um, I find it difficult to put certain kind of eyeliners on. So um, there's a couple different kinds of eyeliners. There's the gel, and if you could see that, and you would, it comes with a, a little retractable um, brush, something like this, um, that you use to uh, put along your eyeline. And then we have a liquid eyeliner, which has a little, um, I don't know if you can see that very well. It has like a little brush on it with the liquid inside here. Then you also have a eyelining pen. You can see that. It's just like a marker. You just uh, mark your eye. If you have a real steady hand, that's a good one. Um, I like this one because I can get it a little more straighter than I can the gel or the um, the liquid. Uh, this is the one I use most of the time. This is the retractable uh, eyeliner crayon. And I'll show you how I work with that one. Um, so I'll go ahead and get started. I hope you can see. I'm going to do two different types of um eyeliners on one eye I'm gonna do the the pencil and on the other one I'm gonna take my uh, palette right here and I'm gonna use the black and I'm gonna use the back of my um, pencil with the little brush right here to do the eye right around the eye see which one you like better you could do both all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna do my uh, left eye with the crayon. And I know you're not supposed to pull your eyes, but you know what, guys? I can't get my eyeliner on, so I just gently taunt it so that I could get my eyeliner right along the base of my eyelashes and my eye. So I just draw a little line. Doesn't have to be perfect. Can you hear my dog in the background? He's chasing squirrels. They're teasing him. And then I'm gonna take this brush right here. This is a smudging brush. And I'm gonna pull my eye just a tiny bit, not too much, and I'm gonna flare this out. Make it look nice and even. I like to do a little in the bottom too, just so it looks like it matches. You can really get in the corners there with this brush. I love this brush. And because I want my eyelashes, because when you get older you lose your eyelashes, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up in the lash line too, and I'm just gonna darken it a little bit Make sure I get all in there. That way I'm not putting my um, crayon in my eye. Because I'm going to wash the brush afterwards anyways. So there you go. Nice smooth line. I don't know if you could see it very well with this camera, but um, I could see it very well in my magnified mirror. <laughs> Can't see anymore, so got to use the magnifier. All right, so can you see that? Nice um, flawless line. No bumps, no 
it's just smooth okay so now what I'm gonna do on the other eye is I'm gonna use my little brush right here and I'm gonna use the black color of the palette and I'm gonna do basically the same thing on the other eye I'm gonna start here at the back and I'm gonna just pull it out right next to my eyelash line and this is great if you run out of eyeliner you always ha can use your brush and this one's not as dramatic like there's not the big black line on your eyeliner on your yeah your eyelashes um, but you still when you put your mascara on it changes the look of of your makeup I think putting eyeliner on changes the look of your eye makeup too because it seems like it just brings it out more. Some people, when they get older, don't like to put on eyeliner because of all the, you know, soft skin and the wrinkles that we have around our eye. So you can see it's not as dramatic of a line but it's still there you can see it and I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna get real into my waterline make sure not to get the powder in my eye though so there you go how do you like that one I think it looks pretty good. Not as uh, dramatic, I don't think, as dark, but it's still, yeah, it kind of looks good. We'll have to see what it looks like when we put the mascara on. Um, let me get my mascara. <laughs> Forgot to get it out. All right, let me move this palette here. Okay, so we're gonna start out by, uh, I'm gonna do my lower lashes first. I like to do my lower lashes first so that it could dry before I do the curling of my eye. And I find that for older eyes, I just do a little bit. I used to be real dramatic with the bottom lashes, but since I've gotten older, it doesn't work for me. So I just kinda do a tiny bit on my lower lashes just enough to see that they're there let it dry Ooh, see always have a q-tip with you so that when you get those little things you just roll it right off so you don't mess up your makeup and if you have long eyelashes you really need to keep this because sometimes the mascara gets up there and you need to dab it off. So, I think it's pretty dry by now. If not, I'll fix it. It can always be fixed. Okay, so we're gonna curl the eyelashes. And do the mascara so when you when you're doing mascara also you want to get right at the edge right near your eye so that you're making sure you're getting that your darkest part and then you just bring it up Do the other eye. My hair is blowing in my face because I'm outside. I like being outside and getting the natural light. That way I know what I'm really going to look like. And the same thing on the other eye.
Have you ever noticed that one eye is harder to do than the other? Yeah. But I guess we figure it out, right? This eye, to me, seems like it's harder to get to. Because I'm right-handed and I gotta go across my body. So therefore, maybe my eyelashes don't turn out right. But it seems like I always put the makeup on better on this eye. Just not the mascara. <laughs> so weird. Okay, so I think that's going to be good enough for me. Okay, guys, so I don't know which one looks better. To me, they kind of look the same. You have to decide. Anyways, that's just a tip for putting on um, eyeliner for the older eye. Remember not to pull your eye too hard because the area around your eye is so sensitive. And since it's already getting uh, wrinkly now, the more you're pulling it, the more it's going to get wrinkled. So be careful around that eye area. All right, girls. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.